Okay, this, is, this song kind of slaps. It's that time, everybody. This is Hell of a Boss, Season 2, Episode 6. Oops! And Fizz is in the thumbnail, so... I have a few ideas. Probably flashbacks as to a certain accident that may have led to Fizz becoming what Fizz is right now. And Blitz may or may not having to do anything with that. Who knows? We'll find out. But I have a feeling we're going to hear a lot of Blitzo in this one. So let's jump in. I'm so excited. And yes, I'm so sorry. I promise the, the, the breakdowns will come. They just take so long to make and I have not had time. But we'll, we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Ozzy is swole. Ah! It's like a little gremlin. She was cute. She's still cute. <laughs> it's Fizz. Rise and shine, Ozzy. <laughs> oh, again with the horn. Don't blame me. Blame how fucking fun they are. Okay, so today you have I'm gonna a turn it down. the distributor about the new shipment of vibrators. Then you gotta host a safety meeting because of what happened with the old shipment of vibrators. I love his palace. With his bedroom. Ah, you scheduled me during lunch. Well, you're pretty good at squeezing things in. But I left time for a big old breakfast. Let me guess. I'm handling that too. I mean... Unless you want me to take a crack at cooking again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never again. What? Maybe I could burn the milk this time. Stop. Oh, gosh. <gasps> oh, you know what I'm craving? Burgers. No, it's too early for burgers, you maniac. Burger time. Such burger a... time. Burger time. <laughs> <laughs> Such a different relationship than Blitz and Stolas. <laughs> Oh, that was interesting. Can't wait to dial into that later. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can pick up some more while I'm out today. About that. You're that chocolate cake looked real that good. Contest rehearsal without me. Well, you have a packed day today, and I know you aren't big on the whole mammon thing, so. It's the greed ring. One of the cities is literally called Ransom. Ah, you worry too much. You know I ain't afraid of ropes. Sides, I'm slippery. I mean, only after I... What? Oh, gosh. Come on, Oz. I can be on my own one day. But you haven't been to the greed ring alone since becoming Mam's big brand figure. Yeah, I guess, but it's not like I'm gonna stick around. I can get you an escort. Ah, uh, I can handle it. Are we gonna on, see daddy, Mammon? Please. <laughs> well, you know I can't say no to a face that cute. Mm hmm That's why I use it. Just try to stay out of trouble, Fizzy Frog. Ah, stop it! No. <laughs> so it's interesting. You mind trying to have an unemotional bang sesh here? Yeah, because we're so not in love. Yeah, they are... love is stupid. They definitely are. I was just about to say this, actually. Whoa, that was close, huh? They were projecting hard when they made fun of Blitz and your phone on you, okay? Stole it. Right here, be right back after. Don't worry, Oz. I'll be super low key. Nobody will notice me. <laughs> Blitz. Jeez, Lord. Oh my God. So we're learning about Fizz, which is interesting. The most time we spent with Fizz was his robot counterpart. Oh, you're one of those? He's one of those! I do love the voice. I adore the voice. I forgot the name of the character, but Beetlejuice, right? You, you, you are in the spotlight. We're watching the show. Oh, I knew it. Lol. Oh, wow. Looky who it is. Oh, fuck. You again. Stalking me now, huh? Oh, don't fucking flatter yourself, clown. I have my own life, you know, without you in it. Uh-huh, sure. What is he doing? 
The O is silent now, bitch. And she wins. We've been it's in one. relative vicinity twice in the last 15 years. That would make me the shittiest stalker in history. Twice is already way too much. Okay. Well, at least I'm still actually working for my shit and not getting everything handed to me like some pampered attention whore. That's what hit the nerve? Okay. Yeah, well, guess that's what resilience and talent gets ya. Well. Plus, my horns were always bigger than yours, weren't they? Oh, There's another nerve. <laughs> We're doing this now. The condom! So, you say you're good? Because we really need a big score right now. The best yeah. at a royal on the ropes just last week. Sure. Yes. But not dead? It was cold off. But I have a body count in the hundreds. I ain't afraid oh. to go after anyone. We have Finally. Kids a rogues gallery. Face puppy looking things. Don't matter. Huh. I'll tell you what. If you can deliver something of value, I'll consider it. One moment. Huh? Seriously? <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Wanted to run into you again. Wow. Let's see. And with a famous friend. Ah, oh, fuck me. For the record, we are not friends. <laughs> I like that he called him Blitzy. That's real funny. Oh, a good transition. I saw that. Don't paint the dildo. That's another good transition. Roger, you can never be too large. <laughs> you can never be too large. All suck you by? Huh. Right there. That's good. I like, I like that. That's good. Oh, that makes sense. It's We're in lust land. Oh! What is this job he has? <laughs> oh, Stolas. Stolas. Hey there, birdie babe. Haven't seen you since you crashed oh. my club. How you been? The crystals. <laughs> Still getting your. This is a cool episode. Feisty imp. So uh, many. <laughs> well, um, that's actually what I'm here about. Things see, converging. I um seem to have found myself with feelings for him. And I'm not sure if it's a mutual thing. Well, I can tell you, if you're looking for a love potion, you came to the wrong fucking guy. I don't fuck with that artificial bullshit. Lust shouldn't be about <laughs> force. It's an art to be earned and enjoyed. It's all about that journey to That's pleasure time. Very romantic. You feel me? <laughs> oh, no, never. Such a never nice perspective that. on lust. I just, you see. This imp has a business he runs. He needs to access the mortal realm to carry out his work. I know your demons are some of the only ones who can traverse freely and legally. I was wondering if you could assist me in finding a way he could too. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Stolas, my heart bleeds for you, but my partner, uh, business partner, Fizzarelli, hates huh. your imp guy, Blitzo, right? Yeah, hey. He does? But why? Not my story to tell, but trust me, I would help if I could, but I can't. Sorry. What? Ooh. That's interesting. Hello, Osmodius. You don't know me, but you don't need to. All you need to know is I have your little jester here with me. If you want him back alive, you're gonna be so cool. Exactly what I want. Do you have any idea who you are fucking with? I think it's a recording. You probably just asked if I know who I'm dealing with. <laughs> and oh yes, I know. The weakest and most non-threatening of the shits. The king who will do whatever it takes to save the worst kept secret in all of hell. Huh. We both know you won't risk anything happening to the clown. So be a good little bitch boy and do the thing. My lawyers will be over shortly with the contract of the man. You have until the witching hour to sign it. <laughs> I really want him to just call Stolas next. <laughs> I want him to call Stolas next, like in a second. Oh. 
Stolas doesn't even know Blitz is there. Oh, chill out, Jester. Christ on a stick. It's like you've never been tied up before. Uh, sure, but not by a bunch of psychos <laughs> and a piece of shit. Am I... Okay, am I the psycho or the piece of shit? Both. Yeah, no <laughs> checks. How is this happening? I was just supposed to grab some gas station milk and rehearse some juggling. Oh, relax. I'm sure your big royal chicken ain't gonna let anything happen to his peppy little fuck doll. Oh, playing that card, huh? Okay, what about you? Seems your tastes have gotten more regal lately <laughs> yeah well unlike you i fuck who i want when i want i'm not gonna be tied down to some big blue blood asshole you could have fooled me the way princey was cozying up to you at ozzy's hey stolas <laughs> only cares about having a rugged peasant raw dog him into his mattress it's nothing you know oh it's nothing else then why were you even there other very important reasons of course whatever i don't actually care i mean stolas is just a loud thirsty bitch who loves feeling the thrill of getting dicked by the lower class it's a novelty to him literally just said i don't care and then he'll call me and try and see how my day was and he'll pretend to care about me and comment on my photos and laugh at my jokes oh well that's definitely your clue right there that Blitz. it's all bullshit i know right he's just a fake privileged asshole sounds like you just hate him for being a prince because no one and i mean no one pretends to care that much just for a cheap lay point is True. royal demons don't give a shit about guys like us they're all the fucking same that's not always true but i guess you're right they can't <laughs> all be the same if some have taste and some want to fuck you can we talk about something other than my sex life satan's taint does fucking that lust guy make this what you're all about now you <laughs> brought it up asshole you two shut the fuck up already bigger like a couple of teen skanks God, I as wanna... far as I'm concerned, you two are both embarrassments to our kind for meddling with blue bloods to begin with. Ooh! But at least Loudmouth here has the sense to only fuck his rich bitch instead of being a little purse dog. Oh, great. The fucking supremacist is on my side. Wonderful. Uh, Neither of you filth bags know what you're even talking about. If you think you're superior to anyone, then you are no better than any royal. Don't you dare. Finish that sentence. <laughs> hey, so much by. nuance. I said, watch them, not fuck them. I Keep love your it. Hands off the merchandise. I love the nuance. Heard of mouthwash? Fuck but, face. Between the three of them. I, I want to talk about Striker uh, so bad. Like He's like cool you need to know the and so lame you can't at the same time. A deal made with a sin like yourself would be everlastingly binding. Since that one episode. Perhaps I can look it over. I'm a fast reader. Oh, hmm. This is a contract giving Crimson all of Ozzy's factory assets and giving him permission to use Fizzeroli's head for a wall decoration. Wait, what? Just what? making sure you're paying attention. <laughs> Here's the real contract. Oh, this will be fun. I <laughs> love words. Oh, God. You know, you're really bad at this. Uh, I... You know... Last time I checked, I was a fucking jester, not an escape artist. I, I really. <laughs> I just want to go home. I really mm. dig this episode. You want me it's to get you out. So many things yeah. colliding. You had a knife this whole time. Why the cinematic <laughs> transition? Now stop bitching while I work. Jesus, yeah. that was dramatic. Oh. Uh, so what now, genius? A lot of characters to kill. I mean, I could stretch down there. No. I have a better idea. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Keep it down. I'm shooting eight ball over here. What's going on? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Wow. Seriously? Blitz? Well, that didn't. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Show off. <laughs> I love his reactions. I love Crimson's reactions to everything. Oh. 
Come on, Fizz. Okay. Oh well. Banana peel. Someone this flexible, this useless in combat. I'm a performer. I sing. I dance. I promote products that I don't actually use. I don't do danger. Well, good to know you're still a wimpy circus puss. Robo Fizz was better. Come back. That imply I give a shit what you think. I come back. I thought. After what you did to me, I didn't do anything. It was an accident. An accident? Are you kidding me? You always had it out for me because people liked me better. You wanted me gone because you were jealous. Just wanting the spotlight. I looked up to you. I thought you were my best friend. You ruined my life. And then you just left me. Well, I lost so much because of Damn. you. Damn. And you selfish piece of shit. You didn't even care. I did care. That was it so was fast. An accident. It was. Fly. Okay, you're right. It was all my fault. Okay, I, I should have done more to help. I was fastest trying. flashback I've ever seen. So much going on. I was trying to get help, Fizz. I just. It was still my fault. Glad you can admit it. Want a medal? Look, I'm sorry, Fizz. I am so sorry that you got so hurt. I'm sorry for what you lost, and I, I know I can never make that right. So th that's wild, yeah. I mean, I had a kind of had a feeling. No idea what I lost in that fire. Blitz is. I mean, it's it's all my fault. Whole thing. I, I'd oh, his mom me too. too. I mean, I do. I, I kind of figured Blitz so and Fizz's whole thing is that Blitz this. caused the accident, but that's even it's more horrible. Fine. I tried. You were all I had left, Fizz, but they told me you didn't want to see me. I never told them that. Bullshit. You didn't? No, and no one told me you came. Oh. Huh. Oh, right Interesting. There. Well, they're going to be friends again. <laughs> okay, so I believe this drop That was such a fast flashback. Specifically located in the greed ring with I kind of appreciate the pacing. Your client for the foreseeable future while ensuring the safe return of one Fizzerali. Yeah, sure, sounds good. Now, let me just reread this. Stolas really yeah, coming in clutch here. Standing or no, it's hard to just forgive you. It's been 15 years, and that's so much time. But ah, 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 I guess you didn't really ruin my life. Well, you're telling me getting blown up didn't ruin your life? It was painful ah, and challenging, and you know, fuck you still. But it's not like I'm broken, and I now have someone who understands me. And ah, ah, fuck you, my life has actually been pretty great. Yeah, huh. That's lovely. You got a good thing going on with that horny rooster fucker, don't you? Oh yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, Cause you know it's a great gig, and and, <laughs> and he's got the biggest cock, you know, like massive. I mean, imagine like the biggest, just a giant, huge, like a kaiju, but it's a cock. You know what I mean? Like a big monster. It's big. It's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. Kaiju I cock. Get it. Yeah, I'm happy for you, Fizz. <laughs> Oh. Oh, I love that dude. If you want to prove yourself, cowboy, here's your chance. <laughs> oh. Come on. You've been a pain in my ass long enough, Blitz. Now, I'm going to break you like a fucking horse. Oh, don't you dare talk sexy to me. You're still on the horse thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's Fizz, funny. <laughs> remember how you used to distract my dad so I could steal his booze? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, well, I need to get up to that window there to bust us out. Oh, he can. One distraction coming up. He can probably hear them. Eh? When I was a young boy, I never thought it'd come to this. The scars all seem to heal, and soon all I feel is regret. And now I'm a grown man. I've lost <laughs> what is this one? Again, but what I'll miss the most Pay close attention while you get a look at this Yeah, look at this Then look at that <laughs> Here's a hat What? This nonsense mostly doesn't mean a thing 
But listen closely, maybe it explains everything. The secret to Bitcoin, computers and microchips, the key to the future. Ooh. If you only look at this, riches untold. Okay, it's a cool song now. If you focus on me, as the story unfolds. Look at that. I hold the key to the mystery. Look at that. Look at nothing except Okay, this, is, this song kind of slaps. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know how long I can do this. I'm gonna need another 60 seconds. Oh, fuck! Okay, the thing I'm trying to say, I will say if you look this way. But, Striker, Crimson, come on! You know, it's, it's a just as a non used to say. Oh, people are gonna love this episode, I can tell. I just learned how to make lemon cello. Is he just saying Italian words? Firenze Bucatini? That's funny. Ah. Ah, there we go. Land a punch. Yeah, Striker is so cool, but also so inept at times. It's so funny. And crazy. You know, you're actually pretty good at this action hero bullshit. And you really know how to put on a show. Which is almost as impressive as the thing you said I was good at. <laughs> huh? I guess royal jesters first. <laughs> the cutting is so fast in this scene, particularly. Oh God! You think I'm just gonna let you get away after all this? I'm through losing these fights. This worthless little pet reeks of his overbloated master. I'll at least enjoy getting rid of him. Okay, is it bad that I'm getting hard? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Why is it always a sex thing? <laughs> You're hanging out with the wrong crew, <laughs> Striker. Uh, God damn it! He's like such a little rat. Oh shit. Not again, friend. Oh, dynamic. <laughs> you blew me up again, you fucking prick. I did. <laughs> but this time I stuck around. Ah! No! Slowly! Everyone who hates him is starting to love him. Would it fuck up the moment if we made out right now? <laughs> Blitz has got no chill. Oh God. I'm going to fucking end your life. Fizzy. Fizzy. Oh, stole this. <laughs> Lawyer man. Mm, get fucked, little one. Oh, my shame! Oh, God. I'm so glad you're okay, babe. You ain't never leaving the palace without protection again. I liked Stolas' role in this. That was fun. I, know. I don't care. Because they know if they tell anyone, I'll break them. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. Today I learned that I hate going outside. You won't have to again. 
I'm sorry, I got a little messy. You don't need to apologize for getting banged up, babe. I'm just sorry I couldn't be there. It's okay, Oz. Guess I'm just not used to this kind of thing. <sighs> it's been an intense day. Just take it easy, okay? Oh, it's fine. I'm fine, really. You know I bounce back fast. <laughs> Once Oz learns he's cool with Blitz again, he might get the crystal. Besides my whole scary hostage thing, how was your day? Well, I was stuck with Stolas the whole time, who, <laughs> by the way, asked me to give him one of my crystals as a gift for that guy you hate. So... I told him no. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Fuck it. Let him have it. Excuse me? Yeah. Why not? You could say he earned it. All right then. Anything for you. Hmm. So is his other arm organic? I can't like tell. If it's one in one. Oh no no no, the other one's bionic too. It's given me a whole mess of new kinks. You wanna go make a mess. You really think that's a good idea right now, Fizz? Sure, don't you? Well ah. obviously. <laughs> I liked this one. I like this one a lot. Ah! That was a good one! It moved very quickly at times. I, I think it's so funny how fast they did the flashback and all that. They're like, okay, we know you guys all want to know the backstory for Fizzerali and Blitz and like why his accident and all that stuff. Here it is real fast. And then they move right past it. But it's cool because they brought so many characters together. Also, Stolas as a supporting character reading contracts is just so him and so funny. So I, I enjoyed that a lot. I, I, I think y'all know Stolas is like my favorite character at this point. And, uh, oh man, yeah, when I do the breakdown, whenever it freaking happens for the Striker episode, the West one, yeah, I gotta talk about, like, just, they made him so, like, foolish in that episode, and I can't tell how I feel about it, but, yeah, like, he's still always so damn cool, but he just, he fucks up so hard. But, uh, I, you know, we're gonna we'll unpack that more later on, but yeah, this was super fun. I liked the dynamic. I liked the whole idea of having, like, an emotional character moment between two characters while there's action happening. I think that's really fun. I don't know why. I really like the design of, like, Krim's, like, right-hand man. Like, I, I don't know. He's got, like, a really cool design. He's like a shark. Um... I mean, they all are sharks, I know, but I mean, like, he's, like, one of the sharks is what I meant to say. But, yeah, we got Krim and Stryker. We got Oz and Stolas. Obviously, Blitz and Fizz. And then, like, the dynamic between Fizz and Ozzy. The talking about the dynamic of Stolas and Blitz. And then even, like, them two talking about, like, their relations with the upper-class demons and then striker getting mad at it like i thought that was all so cool because like everyone's bringing their baggage into a scene and it's fun and i, I, I sorry i could like talk about this forever and then crimson just like doing his thing because he's he wants control over the dildo factory i can only imagine that's for a prank on moxie but whatever um yeah th th this was fun and no luna luna no luna <laughs> <laughs> All right, but also no Moxie. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that was thoroughly enjoyable. I can't think of anything else to say right now. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, what was your favorite part of this, actually? Because I know everyone's been dying to see more Fizz. So were you happy with this episode? Did you think it was too fast or did you think it was kind of funny? I think like... It's very subversive sometimes the way they do these things. They're like, okay, everyone's going to expect a big to do, but let's just, you know, make it real fast. Oh yeah, and the whole touch up with the mom thing, like it implying that that's might be where his mom died. So, which adds a whole new dimension to how he started crying when thinking about her in the season finale, but r r when he saw the photo, I mean, but yeah, anyway, so much we could talk and unpack about that, but 
I'm gonna end this off here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Smack the bell so you never miss a thing. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, fill in the blanks, for supporting me on Patreon. I almost said Bizarrally. And I'll see you all in the next video. For now, this is Dave out. Peace out. Oh, those breakdowns are coming, I swear.